Reaching for the stars, don't care who you are On to something new, take it very far Don't forget where you came from When you walking out, push your game on Your dreams is your aim, so Put that code on your name This is what you were made for There's nothing in your way Cause the sky is the limit can't wait another minute Cause the sky is the limit The sky is the limit Hello guys, it's your girl Galactic Angel Coming again with you with another video Please be sure My voice is looking at me but I ain't got him on, on the camera <laughs> Please be Glee Now you mess me up I ain't gonna edit this because y'all gonna laugh and I like entertainment, but I don't like that. <laughs> but please be sure to like, comment, share, etc. to your friends, Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media that you have. But I just wanted to just sit back and chit chat with you guys about some matters. And I really didn't have a topic, but I like to sometimes freestyle. You know, I don't like to plan things very much, so here we go. <laughs> my baby looking at me okay we're going to talk about loving yourself confidence and honesty I think that you can only love yourself if, if, if you accept every flaw within you yeah and I want to say it was kind of hard for me to love myself because I don't know, I haven't been told that when I was younger. You know, you hear it first from your peers, especially when you're starting a venture or when you're starting any social uh, status, like, you know, when you first arrive to school. Your peers will be the first ones to tell you who you are, try to judge you, so you believe that. You know, all throughout elementary, I was called ugly, and I believed it, you know. I didn't have the smoothest skin. I wasn't the socialist. <laughs> I wasn't very social. You know, uh, I didn't have a lot of friends, but I was very mild. I would have people here and there that would talk to me because they know that I was mild. I wasn't very talkative. I was to myself. So sometimes a lot of people do like to gravitate towards people who are vulnerable in the sense um, that they have nobody that they talk to. I wasn't the one to go out of my way to talk to somebody unless I felt like they were kind like me. And that was very rare. So, yeah, I just remember when I went to elementary, you know, I was called ugly. And it was this one guy. I was in fifth grade. Well, this one boy in my classroom, he was doing an assignment. And he was a popular guy. Everybody liked him. And he was talking about all the girls in his classroom that were good-looking whatever and I already knew that I was not going to be on the list so I was just contemplating I already knew because I'm, I'm an empath I can kind of feel anything before it presents itself to me so he's like yeah she's fine she's fine and Taylor sh Taylor you ugly during the time my heart was breaking my edges was falling out my booty was itching. My eyes was developing liquids. I was becoming weary, afraid, fearful. Like, motherfucker, it's one thing to know your flaws or one thing to think what you are. Don't remind me. But I shouldn't have felt like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not saying that my parents failed me or anything like that because I told my mom you know about situations at elementary school because at, in fact it was this one boy he used to bully me all the time just pick with me and we would always just get into these fights like he would push me and I would push him back and he would kick me and I would kick him back you know what I'm saying but as we got older you know one time he tried to hit on me but I said oh yeah 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 you you want to hit on me now you know what I'm saying that I glowed up but it's funny how tables turn but I really wasn't I was, I was insecure, you know, and it's a lot 
that goes on behind things that people don't know about. You know, you're trying to love yourself all together because every day you look at your flaws. If you're very attentive, which I am, I already know all my flaws. It's just the fact that somebody would, you know, remind you of your flaws, but you know and you are aware you work on yourself every single day. I try to be better every day. I don't try to look within a past. I don't want to look within the past. It only hurts me when somebody just brings up the past. And I don't want to let that get me down because you always have to look towards the future because, like, the past doesn't matter no more. What has been done has been done. I'm not talking about someone who's very evil to a person. Like, if somebody kills somebody and they still don't want to take accountability, no, you always take accountability. You own that and you go within... And you go with the consequences that follows it, you know? So, why is this video saying that the size limit is, I don't know. I hope this won't go over or over exceed the limit of recording. But, you know, like, you face the consequences. You be honest 